Welcome back to another edition of DIY Golf Car Garage. I got a phone call the other day. A gentleman wanted to know, hey, my engine keeps running and I was told I needed an engine stop switch. Where is it located? Well, this video is for you. What we're going to do now is go over here to this Yamaha G29 drive. We'll show you exactly where that engine stop switch is and how to pull it out, exchange it, and get the car running just like it's supposed to. So, let's get started on the car. Okay, just so you can see better, the rear body of this golf cart has been removed. Now, to get to this engine stop switch, what we want to do is first remove this rear access panel. Then we'll reach up, we'll find our solenoid. Next to that is our voltage regulator. And this little black box on the right, that's our engine stop switch. It actually grounds the system to cause the engine not to spark. So what we'll do is just pull it out of the rubber boot, press the button on the bottom, and pull it out. Now since I'm actually going to be using this again, I'm going to go ahead and clean these contacts. A little WD-40, wipe them down, and clean the outside of it off, and we'll put it back on in just a moment. Okay, now what we're going to do is I got everything cleaned up. It's amazing what a little bit of WD-40 can do. So I'll just put it, snap it back together, go up between all these wires, slide it in between this nice clean bracket, ah. slide it down on it, hook it back up. And there we are. It's in there secure. It's not going anywhere. And we've got it changed out. Well, I hope today's episode on helping you changing out your engine stop switch was helpful. If you got any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.